Hello there. This is Learning with Leanne, and the narration is by Cheyenne. Cars, a new car in town. On the day of the biggest race of the year, a rookie named Lightning McQueen was getting ready in his trailer. I'm faster than fast, quicker than quick, he said aloud. I am lightning. Suddenly, he heard a noise at the front of the trailer. Hey, lightning, called Mac. He drove the race car's custom tractor trailer to each race. You ready? The door to the trailer lowered and lightning zipped out. The sun gleated off his bright red finish and the crowd went wild as he flashed his lucky lightning bolt sticker. ka -chow! Lightning exclaimed. He was ready to race. Lightning was up against a lot of cars, including his biggest rivals, Chick Hicks and the King. They were all competing for the season title in the famous Piston Cup. The King had won the cup the past few years. Now he was about to retire and it was determined to win one last time. But Chick wanted to win too, and so did Lightning. The flag dropped and the cars took off around the track. The King was in the lead. Lightning pulled up next to Chick. Suddenly, slam! Chick crashed into Lightning. The rookie skid off the track. Laughing, Chick slammed into another car and causing a huge wreck. Get through that, he yelled. The wreck didn't stop Lightning though. He made a few quick moves and soon passed Chick and the King on the straightaway. Lightning was in the lead. When he made a pit stop, Lightning's pit crew told him he needed new tires, but the race car wouldn't listen. No tires, just gas, said Lightning. Back on the track, Lightning was in the lead with only one lap to go. Bang, bang, he blew out both rear tires. Chick and the King quickly caught up to him at the finish line. Lightning stuck out his tongue as they crossed, hoping that would make him the winner. While the cars waited to hear who had won, fans and reporters rushed over to Lightning. Are you sorry you didn't have a crew chief out there? Asked one reporter. No, Lightning said. I'm a one-man show. Lightning's pit crew was upset. They didn't want to work with a car who didn't think he needed a team, so they quit. You need to wise up and get yourself a good crew chief and a good team, the king told Lightning. Suddenly, an announcement came over the loudspeaker. We have a three-way tie. A tiebreaker race will be held in California in one week. Lightning wanted to get to California before Chick. Denoco sponsored the king. Once he retired, the company would need a new car to represent them. Lightning wanted to do it. He and Mac set off. After driving for a day, Mac needed to rest. Lightning promised to stay awake while they drove all night. Soon, the race car fell asleep. Then Mac started to doze. He swerved suddenly and his trailer door opened. Still asleep, Lightning rolled out on the highway. Beep, beep. The race car woke up to the sound of cars honking. He realized that he was going the wrong way. Mac, Lightning called. He followed a tractor trailer off the highway, but it wasn't Mac. Suddenly, he heard a pop, pop, pop. He thought someone had shot at him. Lightning raced ahead. He caught his tires on some wires, causing all kinds of damage. Sheriff, whose tailpipe had backfired, finally caught him. The next morning, when Lightning woke up, he had a park boot on one of his tires, so he couldn't drive. A rusty old tow truck was smiling at him. My name's Mater, said the tow truck. Like tow Mater, but without the tow. Lightning looked around. Where am I, he asked. Radiator Springs, said Mater, the cutest little town in Carburetor County. Just then, Sheriff pulled up. Tow this road hazard to traffic court, he ordered. When he entered the courtroom, Lightning was met by a group of angry townsfolk. The judge was a gruff blue named Doc Huxon. As soon as he saw that Lightning was a race car, Doc ordered him out of court. I want him out of town before Lightning could leave. A beautiful blue sports car named Sally rode into the courtroom. Doc, make this guy fix the road, Sally pleaded. 
She exclaimed that Radiator Springs wouldn't survive without its main road. The other cars agreed. Doc changed his mind. He ordered Lightning to repair the pavement. Doc brought Lightning to Betsy, a giant road paving machine. When Doc took off Lightning's parking boot, the race car tried to escape, but he didn't get very far. His gas tank was empty. Mater towed Lightning back to town. The race car began to pull Betsy slowly down the street. A few hours later, Lightning still had a long way to go. He heard on the radio that Chick Hicks was already in California. That meant Chick would get to Dinoco first. Lightning couldn't let that happen. He pulled Betsy as fast as he could. Panting, Lightning finally made it to the end. I'm finished, he announced. Just say thank you and I'll be on my way. The deal was for you to fix the road, not make it worse, said Doc. Start over. Look, Grandpa, said Lightning. I'm not a bulldozer. I'm a race car. Doc challenged Lightning to a race. If you win, you go. If I win, you do the road my way, he said. Let's race, Lightning said with a laugh. He knew the old car didn't have a chance. Out on an old road, Lightning revved his engine. When the starting flag dropped, he took off. Doc Huxon didn't move. He watched as Lightning sped down the track. Then the race car hit a sharp left turn and lost control. He fell over the edge of a cliff, landed in cactus patch below. You drive like you fix roads. Doc called to Lightning, lousy. Doc left Mater to tow the rookie. Lightning was furious, but he got back to work. I'll show him, he muttered. The next morning, the cars of Radiator Springs woke to the sounds of Mater cheering. He was driving circles on a section of smooth, newly paved road. Amazing, said Sally. Lightning had done such a good job that even Doc was impressed. He looked around. Then he heard a roar of race cars in the distance. He found Lightning on the dirt road, practicing his turns. Doc gave him some advice. Turn right to go left. Lightning laughed. Still, he gave Doc's advice a try, but he went right over the cliff again. That afternoon, Lightning was back at work on the rest of the road. In fact, he was doing such a good job that all the cars in town started to fix up their shops, too. Sally was thrilled. Luigi, the owner of the tire shops, wanted to spritz up more than just his shop. He tried to sell Lightning new tires. The race car was not in the mood, though. Look, I get all my tires for free, he said. No, thank you. Just then, Lightning was hit with a blast of water. Stop! He shouted. He opened his eyes and saw Sally and the red fire engine in front of him. Red, you missed the spot, said Sally. Red sprayed the race car again. What was that for, asked Lightning. Sally exclaimed that Lightning had to be clean if he wanted to stay at her motel, the cozy cone. I just thought I'd say thank you for doing a great job, she said. That night, Mater invited Lightning to go tractor tipping. Together, they drove through a field of sleeping tractors. When they got too close to one, Mater honked his horn and the tractor would tip over with a loud moan. Lightning and Mater laughed. Suddenly, a huge combine came charging toward them. Run, Mater cried. Frank's gonna catch you. Mater took off through the field laughing, but Lightning was terrified. They made it to a fence and zipped through an opening just in time. That was fun, said Mater. When they were back in town, he began to drive backwards in circles, spinning past Lightning. That was incredible, said Lightning. He realized he was actually having fun with Mater. He was surprised, but happy to. I knew it, said the tow truck. I made a good choice. In what, asked Lightning. My best friend, answered Mater. When Lightning pulled into the Cozy Cone Motel that night, Sally drove over to talk to him. You know, Mater trusts you, she told him. She was worried that Lightning would let down his new friend when he left. Yeah, okay, the race car said. Look, I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. Disappointed, Sally turned towards her office. Hey, called Lightning. Thanks for letting me stay here. It's great, he smiled. Lightning realized. 
he was starting to like Radiator Springs. The end.